The All Progressive Congress has dismissed allegations leveled against its campaign council by the opposition People's Democratic Party as baseless and diversionary. In a statement signed by its Deputy National Publicity Secretary Yakini Nabena in Abuja on Friday, the Secretary said the opposition party was simply exhibiting its fear of losing because of the caliber of persons appointed into the APC's caretaker committee as well as the Edo State Governorship Campaign Council. The APC spokesperson said the PDP is intimidated by the quality, depth and political sagacity of the APC National Campaign Council deployed by the Governor May Mala Buni led a caretaker extraordinary national convention planning committee to organize a formidable campaign structure to ensure the success of the APC candidate Osage Izeyamu during the election. Joining us via phone is Odiana Eriata, legal practitioner and APC member. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you for having me. Yeah, all right, it's a pleasure. So let's start. The PDP has alleged that your party plans to use the power of the ruling party to distort the process. What are your quick thoughts on this? Well, I think that uh, that thought is uh, they are not sincere with what I have just told Nigerians. I read one of the clips where the spokesman of People's Democratic Party, um, Mr. Kola, has said that the composition of the Campaign Council of APC is met or designed to rig election in a dual state. Yeah, that is not correct. If um, whatever uh, the publicity sector is saying now, I think it's only meant to justify the homogeneous amount they've collected from Governor Baiseki of a dual state to reroute him into the PDP and get him the ticket. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's only justification of the money they collected and nothing more. Okay, um, uh, nice way to put it. Uh, your party currently has a lot of internal crisis. Do you think this will also affect your victory at the Edo poll? There's no internal crisis in APC. As we speak, the 49 um, presidential campaign council for Edo State APC to uh, election is well designed to win APC back to Edo, uh, for, um, uh, Edo State back to APC and also to ensure that APC has its place or place in those states. We do not have any internal crisis. If there were internal crisis, I don't think the lives of Comrade Samson Shomole, His Excellency, the former governor of Edo State, Oyego, His Excellency, Sorry, Mayor Sumbo, the professor, every one of them has made up the 49 member campaign council and to be led by the governor of um, Kano State. I think that is just the affair. The affair is that um, APC is quite united about Edo, and the affair is that um, both the presidency, the, the state APC, and every other of the party are now united. I think that is just the affair. I also read through the, uh, the press release where some members of the APC we are accused of either corruption or one thing or the other. And I just laughed. If you look at the 77 members of the council that APDP has just published, you discover that two of them are as convicts. You discover that over 25 of them are facing high profile cases of prosecution from the EFCC. You discover that some leaders of that campaign council are professionals in election manipulations. Some of them are two-time governors of a state who really never went through elections, except for the manipulation of the judicial process in that state to have upper hand against the APC. So what are they talking about? I really do not see any moral justification for Mr. Connor to criticize the campaign council that is well taught out for the uh, APC in Edo State. I think they are not just being sincere at all. Okay. I think they are deceiving the governor because they've collected money from him.
Okay, so, so let's also talk. Your, uh, your party and the PDP literally made a swap of its uh, of, of uh, candidates. Are there any fears of uh, uh, Godwin Obaseki reconciling with the APC at any point? I, I do not think that will happen. You see, party politics is deeper than blood relationship. Once you are a committed member of your party, now that Obaseki, Governor Obaseki is out of APC, those thoughts that some members of the party are going to support him within, I don't think that will uh, crystallize. Because when we are not being in APC, we know those who are truly committed to the uh, POI project and uh, committed to the 19th day of September elections. And every arrangement is being made in that line. So I do not think he will have any sellouts, as it were, from APC. But that does not mean we are not um, uh, watching out for that and we are reading in between the lines. But also do not forget that as we speak, some full soldiers in PDP are also decamping back to APC because they said that the PDP has sold its party to Obaseki and his group and they have come to assume leadership. The day he joined PDP, he told them he's the leader of that party. So that same arrogance with which he destroyed, almost destroyed APC, he has transmitted that to PDP. And that is scaring so many food soldiers in PDP back to APC. So at the end of the day, APC will still have a power hand in it, though. Okay. Um, it's been a huge pleasure speaking with you, um, uh, uh, Diana Ereata. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope to, of course, invite you uh, for a conversation like this again. Thank you very much. Um, well,